there's one place in the world where a single pigeon can be worth more than 200,000 U.S. dollars. It's Taiwan. Here, pigeon racing is a sport and a national obsession. Just one race can make you an instant millionaire. Competition is fierce, even deadly. It's a sport awash with rumor of race fixing and mafia. For 30,000 Taiwanese pigeon racers, it is a way of life. They dream will lead to fame and fortune. This is a story of an industry where rags to riches is reality for a lucky few, and where pigeons rule the roost, but only if they win in this high-stakes pigeon game. Taiwan is an island, home to 23 million people. Drive just about anywhere, and you can see these strange structures jutting from rooftops, apartment buildings, and even popping up in rural rice fields. Pigeon loft seems to be everywhere in Taiwan because fortunes are made and lost on the wing of a 400-gram bird. While other countries go crazy over horses or dogs, for many in Taiwan, pigeon racing is the only game in town. Why? Because it's all about money. It all starts here, at the local pigeon auction, where pigeons are bought for breeding purposes only. The bidding is intense, and prices are high, with payments made in cash only. 30,000 professional pigeon racers dream of striking it rich. People like Typhoon Chi, in a good year, he can earn millions, but only if he has the right birds. Breeding and bloodline is crucial. Ty has his sights set on a Dutch redbird, Peter Murray. Ty is determined. He needs this pigeon to father a champion for the coming race season. Finally, success. Ty pays 2,800 U.S. dollars cash, nearly three times the average monthly salary in Taiwan. After securing the pigeon, I was so excited because its parents had such great flying record. So, I have high expectations. At 18 years old, Tai learned the skills of pigeon racing from his father. Four years ago, Tai won three years in a row, making him an overnight millionaire and written up in the 2001 Belgian Pigeon Yearbook. But with little success since then, his cash reserves have dwindled, and he needs a win this race season. Ty's winnings support his family, who are all involved in the sport. They tend to the 200 breeding pigeons, while Ty devotes his time on training. Ty's new pigeon settles into his home, a luxurious breeding loft in rural Taiwan. Here, future stars are bred from the best bloodlines Ty's money can buy. The Dutch bird from the auction will be ready to mate in six months' time, as soon as he gets accustomed to his new home. But for now, Ty is banking on the bloodline of his most prized pigeon. I call it my super warrior, the champion in spring of 2002, still a record holder in southern Taiwan. The children also went on to win prizes for me in later seasons. After its championship race, I was offered 80,000 US dollars for it, but I refused. By pairing Super Warrior's descendant, Ty hopes to breed an even faster young pigeon. It's August, and Ty needs to select all the birds to mate now. His judgment is based on 20 years of experience. Super Warrior's son, who is fast and strong, is placed with another pigeon who comes from a family with great endurance. This pair and other arranged couples are placed in mating cages. Immediate attraction is not always guaranteed, so now Ty can only pray that the chemistry between them will produce winning offspring. Pigeon racing in Taiwan is unique. In Europe, a winning bird can go on competing year after year for its 20-year lifespan. In Taiwan, a pigeon is only allowed to raise for one season. 
So each year, Ty must breed up new birds to race and hopefully win. <coughs> Every pigeon racer thinks he knows how to breed a champion. Usually, it's by looking at a bird's pedigree and race record that suitable pairings are made. Made a bird known for its endurance with one famous for its speed, or a gentle bird with an impetuous one. In this sport, money goes to anyone who can breed and train the fastest birds. This pregnant mother is waiting to give birth to the grandson of Super Warrior. Ty is holding his breath for a future star to be born. Eight days later, she lays two eggs. Find out when the chicks will hatch. He listens carefully for any signs of motion inside. Eighteen days later, a baby pigeon cracks out of his shell. He is the descendant of Super Warrior. Slowly, the tiny bird enters the world unaware of the fierce competition that awaits. All birds must be tagged with leg rings no later than five days after hatching. These rings are licenses to enter the race. Super Warrior's descendant is given the number 13, not an unlucky number in Taiwan. Prize money is raised through the association by pulling the race entrance fees from the leg rings. A 3,000 bird race can bring the pot to nearly 600,000 U.S. dollars. The larger the race, the larger the prize money. If illegal gambling is involved, prize money will be several times larger. Within a month, baby pigeon's feathers are fully foreign, and it's time to train. They're taken away from their parents, and Ty becomes their foster father. Ty has to leave his human family behind and relocate to his race pigeon loft and boot camp, 30 kilometers from home. There, he will spend five months alone, preparing for the spring season race. Ty's loft is located in Naling, a place dotted with many other lofts in the middle of rice fields. This area is within the jurisdiction of Mijong Pigeon Club, one of more than 300 pigeon clubs in Taiwan. But this club holds the most challenging of races. The pigeons fly over land and brave the oceans as well. A real test for Ty and his pigeons. They have five months to be ready. I always like to race at the bigger pigeon clubs, such as Minxiong. It's more challenging for me. Ty's pigeons will begin training for the official five race competition that includes stretches across open ocean. Few pigeons survive all five rounds. How will number 13 and the rest of Ty's new hatchlings stand up to such strong competition? Can they really win at this toughest of pigeon games?